We live in a time where geopolitical issues are prominent. This makes it very difficult to predict even what will happen within the next five years. However, there are some unique technologies emerging which will drastically alter the course of human history. It's not so much as the innovation itself, but more to do with the intent of the inventor. This exemplifies the importance of diversifying off Earth and becoming less susceptible to individual intent. Ultimately, the technologies we cover in this video will completely change our lives, and expansion is absolutely imperative to ensure our survival. One of the most important technologies which could be invented in our lifetimes is an atomic 3D printer. SLM, FDM, DLP are many forms of 3D printing. It is true that we can manipulate atoms at the individual level, but the ultimate solution is to develop a machine which can select atoms and print them on a very large scale. If achieved, this would enable a whole new world of nanorobotics, electronics, and sensors. Super alloys would also be created, which in turn could create space elevators and even mega structures. For now, this remains science fiction. Conversely, this also could be a very big trigger for an entire new age of innovation. A new type of robot could very well be one of the weirdest inventions of all. Most of the creations we have seen so far are basic constructs which utilize cells for muscular control. These clumps of frog cells were designed by an advanced algorithm. And at this point, they can clump together, collect materials, and even replicate. In the future, they could potentially repair structures or even deliver drugs. Beyond that, they might be able to construct very advanced robots, maybe humanoid form. Once again, this kind of technology would be highly dependent on artificial intelligence, which brings us to the next position. There was a time where many questioned if we can even get to a level where AI understands emotions or even their own behavior. But the very definition of understanding is a very complicated and debatable topic. To understand human emotions is difficult because it would take multiple inputs with a wide wealth of knowledge to develop. The next best thing would almost be like an automated car which combines multiple DNNs to make a decision. This is usually done in a perception planning action pipeline to make driving decisions. In theory, it could be possible to translate this technology over to an interactive AI character. However, imitating the brain is very difficult to say the least, and this would require enormous processing power. Neuromorphic computing could very well be the answer to this type of technology. This type of architecture mimics how neural networks work in the brain, so they can process complex parallel problems at a faster rate with very little energy. We will likely see neuromorphic chips used for driverless cars, language processing, analytics, things like that. So an emotional AI needs to have exponentially more processing power for a competitional model of self-organization and ultimately unsupervised learning. Another interesting parallel technology being developed is photonic computing. The computer of the future could very well run on light itself. We already have basic photonic chips out there, including the PACE, which works by injecting electrons into the waveguide and modulating the optical signal. 12,000 optical devices are placed on one circuit, running at 1 GHz. This type of architecture could be very well useful in a lot of problems, including power grid optimization, advanced image analysis, and even speech recognition. In turn, this type of photonic chip could lead to the future AI system which can interpret and interact with humans. Probably one of the most controversial topics out there is anti-gravity. Being that we do not understand what gravity is in itself, it's kind of contradictory to say that there is anti-gravity propulsion. Obviously there is speculation that we do have a type of new revolutionary propulsion technology, but I suspect if there is something out there that can negate gravitational effects, it would have to be very unconventional. One day, we might be able to figure out how to manipulate weight through dynamic nuclear orientation, or maybe even through metamaterials. But this configuration will have to be replicated and verified time and time again. It is obvious that relativity can explain many things, but it also has missing pieces as well, which I have covered in a different video. But more importantly, I think that there will be more answers in the short term future on what gravity is. And this will allow us to overcome this mysterious phenomenon. At number two, fusion power. And I know what you're thinking. 
For decades we have heard about this particular power source is just around the corner, but this claim has persisted and nothing has come to fruition. So why is it different now? Well, there are a couple of different methods which may shed light on how to achieve this elusive form of power. One is General Fusion's magnetized targeted fusion process. This basically utilizes steam-powered pistons to compress the plasma to achieve fusion conditions. Electricity is generated by pumping a liquid metal through a heat exchanger, thus heating water and eventually turning a steam turbine. This particular project should be completed within the next couple of years, so we will find out if it works. Helion and TAE are also working on field reverse configuration, which kind of works like an engine. These systems work in pulses, and plasma is compressed to a center point. Once the plasma expands, it pushes back on the magnetic field, thus producing a current and direct electricity. So this type of system doesn't need any conversion at all, which is very interesting. Now, there are some advances in artificial intelligence for controlling magnetic fields in tokamak reactors, which could also be the missing key. Ultimately, there is stuff happening way beyond ITER, so there is hope for fusion power, and there will be answers within the next couple of years. And number one, artificial reality. Could the matrix become real? It's hard to say, but there is a huge drive towards creating a fully immersive virtual reality. Technologies such as OLEDs, ray tracing, and even micro polygons give impressive visuals, but a full immersion would require haptic feedback, meaning that you'd be able to feel or touch objects in the virtual world. Microscopic actuators can be the answer to this problem, but in theory you would need thousands of these things across your body, which would be very expensive. Another solution, and maybe the most obvious one, is to directly link to the brain. We have already seen that microelectrodes implanted into the brain can give blind patients basic vision. This can not only be done in the visual cortex, but other parts of the brain as well. However, these are very limited bi-directional implants that are very physically invasive. The future brain interface would likely have to fire neurons through a remote magnetic system which can adapt to the physiology of the user. This could also be intertwined with a quantum algorithm to scan and feedback with the brain. So can the matrix eventually become real? Well, absolutely, but it will take great strides in computing along with a few breakthroughs in magnetics. But more importantly, I would like to know what you think about all these different types of technologies. So please leave a comment, like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.